Hi Ivan, I'm sending you some new settings um, for the notes and the bonds. I still think you're best using these two markets initially before adding information from the ultra bond and five year. Um, so just quickly, we have electric piano and trumpet selected for our trade sounds. We have large trade alerts configured for 100 lots and 500 lots or more. So those are the sound effects you'll hear if a large lift occurs or a large hit of the bid. Um, and the louder the sound alert, the bigger the trade. We also have some absorption alerts. So what these mean is that 2,000 or 4,000 or 6,000 contracts have been absorbed at price and that is using the smart volume setting if you want to look that up in the manual. So that is a clank sound. The louder the clank, the more absorption occurred at price. Now we're also using auto mode to control how loud our trade sounds get and auto mode looks at the volume that's traded over a time window if more of an average volume is trading then our trade sounds will be louder and then if extreme volumes trading then they're louder again and we also have an alert that sounds like this if you hear that then new volume flow is entering the market in the notes. For the bonds, we just have some absorption alerts and some large trade alerts. So this will get you used to listening in to a correlated market and events that are occurring in it. And over time you'll be able to get some leading information usually I find in the bonds so if you hear some large lifts occurring in the bonds and that might affect your bias in the notes or help you time a long entry in the notes so this is what a large trade sounds like in the bonds so it's using your woodblock and synth drum sound effects so the drum sound means there's a large lift and the wood block means there's a large hit and the louder the sound the bigger the trade and we also have some smart volume alerts enabled so that beep sound means that there's been some absorption occurring in the bonds um, so if you hear, for instance, a loud beep there, um, then you know that 5,000 contracts have traded at the current price in the bonds, which could mean that there's a large buyer or seller absorbing. And I think that's the only alerts we have currently for the bonds. Um, what you're seeing here is the inside view setting is enabled in the notes. And we've enabled the smart volume profile setting in the bonds. So when I say you will hear a smart volume absorption in the bonds, these numbers here correlate to what you see in the volume profile view. So when this value at 25 gets above 2000 and then 3000 and 5000, you will hear alerts. Uh, I believe that's it. So I'll just enable some market replay data quickly, which is a bit clunky. 
So we hear a large lift occur there. Ah, the other sound effect is if the market ticks up or ticks down in the notes. You'll hear a series of either electric piano sounds or trumpet sounds. So the upward sweep of the trumpet means the market's ticked up. Just like that. And a downward sweep of piano. Just like that means the market's ticked down. And you'll find a seek. If a lot's going on, then you'll get a series of alerts in a row like that. Um, I find the sound effects harder to follow for understanding a sequence of alerts. For example, if you get a large hit and large absorption and the market ticks up, the squawk will actually announce that. So it will say, for instance, 50 hit, uh, 1,000 traded, 95's offer. But sound effects convey the same information and different traders prefer one or the other. So we heard a large lift with the digital upsweep, a clank meaning that absorption's occurring, and we also heard the market tick up. And just then we just heard the, the crowd sound, which means that volume is, new volume is entering the market. Hope this helps and is not too confusing. Fire me back any questions you have via email. Cheers.